Hello guys, welcome back to the Rutgers Dynasty as we are going to be competing in our first bowl game. It is the Minica Carb Bowl, or I guess now it's known as the Texas Bowl. I don't know which one to show, so I, I just did both, but we are taking on Notre Dame. They are 9-3 and three on the season. They're still ranked. We dropped out of the rankings in the final week. We were ranked like all year, I think. Except for like maybe like the first few weeks, but we were ranked pretty much the entire year. And then with our loss to Michigan State, it uh, was just enough to knock us out of the top 25. But this should be a pretty even matchup. As uh, if we would have won, we probably would have still been around, you know, 20 or 22 or something. But it is now the start of the game. Notre Dame with the ball. Malik Zaire trying to pick up the first down, only gets one yard on that rush. Does not convert the third down, and now Rutgers with their first chance at the ball. Andre Patton over the middle, crossing midfield with that 17-yard reception. Now a second down and 10. Reddick over the middle, passing to Matt Flanagan, who is going to need to pick it up next season as he will be the number one tight end, but, you know, flat out drops it there. Needs to work on his hands now. We're trying the screen with Desmond Peoples. He loses five, and Notre Dame will get possession of the ball back here. Terry and Folson with that catch. And now Malik Zare passing over the middle. And now they're crossing midfield. CJ Procis. I'm not sure how to pronounce that at all. But now Notre Dame with a huge 23 yard gain to bring them down to about the 12. But now there's a flag. And it's going to go from a third and short to a third and I think eight, maybe. Yep, third and eight after that false start penalty. Trying to convert here, throwing to the end zone. An easy touchdown for Corey Robinson it makes it 7-0 in the first quarter here. And now Rutgers, they have a pretty bad start to this drive. Can they convert here? Third down and eight. Reddick looking outside the pocket, floats this one to Carlton Agudosi, who catches it in a 22-yard gain and a new set of downs. Desmond Peoples now running on the outside and gaining five there. A two-yard gain, now it's third down and three. Janera and Grant converting that first down. And Peoples taking advantage of the first down, running on the side, eight more yards to go. Now passing on second down and short. Agudosi catches the low ball. 11 extra yards there. Peoples now on the pitch. And another five-yard gain there. Now it's a third down and five. Trying the screen, Peoples gets it. He's not able to turn up field quickly. And that is going to end the drive there. Or this will end the drive with the field goal by Andy Larson. So it's seven down to uh, seven to three with only a few seconds left here in the first quarter. And Notre Dame with the ball. They're gonna hand it off there for a nine yard rush. Now switching sides of the field. Malik Sarah passing over the middle. And another big 15 yard gain from Corey Robinson. Leaks are now pitching it back. Getting inside the red zone with that run, Terry and Folsom. He's going to take it for himself against, I'm pretty sure that's the same exact play, now down at the eight-yard line. And now a second down. They're trying to run up the middle. I don't know how he was just sacked, but... Or actually, he was sacked. I don't know how he wasn't sacked, but like, uh, in the early parts of that play. But third down and six, and that short pass is not going to be enough, and actually loses them even more yards to lead to a fourth down and eight, and now their kicker. He's going to be, make the easy field goal and put it back to a one-touchdown lead. Rutgers now with the ball. Peoples running to the outside. Seems to be ahead of all the defenders, but just not enough speed to break free and take that one to the house. But still a 32-yard gain on that one. So, And now Peoples here again. Doesn't even need to take a break after that long run and busts out another 12-yard run. Agadosi now on the catch. And gets down for another 22-yard game. Just back-to-back. -back, huge plays. Now first down in the goal. Reddig trying to get it into the end zone. But pressure gets to him too quickly. And now it's a third down and goal. Trying one last time. And that one's going to be deflected down. And we're going to settle for another field goal here. Andy Larson makes this one. Leading to a four-point lead to Notre Dame. And here they are with the ball. Passing over the middle. Gaining a nice uh, 10 yards to start off the drive. Now Malik Zare in the empty backfield, passing over to the side. This one is going to be William Fuller. He just burned the crap out of our 
corners, and Malik Zaire is actually perfect on the day so far. But an 11 point lead, still very early in this game. We're gonna do something a little bit similar, trying to get that one to Agadosi, but Agadosi just did not create as much separation as uh, Fuller did. But here we are at midfield. Red Egg now throwing to the side. Archie Diacano just drops that pass. It's his final game. You think he would uh, you know, be really trying to work as hard as he can in this game, but first down, flag down anyway after that run. And holding on the offense, so we're going to be knocked back anyway to a first and 20. Now trying to get those yards back with the screen pass. Desmond Peoples gets the correct blocks. He's running down and picks up the first down 24 yards exactly when we needed it. A few plays later, though, it's now third and 11. Red Egg throwing, and the ball is just thrown a little bit too early, or actually too late. And Turner's going to pick that one off. Two minutes left in the first half. That was a pretty bad decision. But let's see if they can convert it to points here. The defense steps up big, uh, tackling them for loss there. Now a third down and long. And they're going to be nowhere near able to kick the field goal. They have to go for him fourth down and three. Can the defense stop him? No, they cannot. Malik Zare is just going to run his way down to the 28-yard line. 24 seconds left. They're uh, still in a little bit of a long field goal range. But with that grab by William Fuller, it's going to be 10 more yards. 10 seconds left. Malik Zare goes down with the sack. And they're going to take their three points. So the interception does lead to points. But uh, at least we kept them out of the end zone, I guess. And Rutgers will go into the halftime down two scores. And you can see both or some of the highlights of this Texas Bowl, Monica Caracar Bowl, whatever you want to say. And now it is the second half. Rutgers starts off with the ball, and they need to pick up and try to get a touchdown here. No touchdowns in the first half, only two field goals. So we need to uh, step it up big here. Andre Patton getting a 14-yard gain. Now Red Egg trying to pass again. The uh, receiver just gets locked up on his man. Or not his man, but by the uh, by one of the corners, not able to get it. Archie Ducano makes the grab this time and another first down. Now Redding looking to throw again over the middle. This time Agudosi uh, breaks free and gets that first down. Redding trying to pass again. This passing offense has worked pretty well all year and that's why we're really focusing on this game because um, Desmond Hughes has been pretty average. Robert Martin still has a lot of work before he even sees any meaningful time but Passing attack has really been working. Andre Patton with that uh, catch brings us down to the two. Trying to punch this one in. Anthony Fulkert sidesteps into the end zone two yards out. The, um, the fullback who we converted from tight end in the first season gets a touchdown. I don't think he's gotten one in a few games, so it's good for him. And uh, Notre Dame actually got the ball. They didn't really do anything with it. Can uh, convert it right over. So this is Rutgers' chance to try and tie up this game. Archie Diacano, with the nerves of his final game, drops another big pass, and that is going to lead to a punt, actually. So Notre Dame back with the ball, although their lead has been shortened to only seven. Leaks there now on a second down and one, passing to the side, a wide open man, and a little bit of extra yards there. On that run now down at about the red zone here this one's gonna go out of bounds on fourth down they're gonna settle for the field goal putting the lead to 10 now for Notre Dame and Rutgers starting off the drive not on the right foot with a sack from Riddick down four yards now it's a third down 11 Desmond Peoples just was our only uh, option only gained six there Notre Dame back with the ball and a 10 point lead the defense really needs to step up big there uh, here. They don't do it on that play. A big gain from Malik Zare. And now it's a third down and eight. The defense really needs to stop them here. And they do not. They let up another 17-yard gain to uh, Corey Robinson. Now on second down and 10. Another first down for Notre Dame. And here comes a run from Malik Zare up the middle. Getting them down to a first and goal. Which 
back and need to try and keep them out of the end zone and we just let them right in let them walk right in five yards out at least there are over 300 passing yards in this game already Reddick with the ball down by 17 so it's three score game and we need to score pretty much now as we get a long pass off to Archie Diakana for 22 another first down Reddick is basically going to be uh, his team right now as we're not going to be running with this much time left pretty much second down and 10 Reddick gets the ball off right before getting hit so I'd say that's actually a pretty good play of four now over the middle Agadosi converts second down and 11 trying to throw it up to Agadosi but the ball was swatted down third down and 11 need to try this one for the end zone trying the corner for Agadosi again and that one was just overthrown this time. Got to go for it here. Almost intercepted by Max Redfield. And that's going to be a turnover on downs. We tried every chance we get. Try to bring back this game. But now all Notre Dame has to do is run out the clock. One minute left. Rutgers does have all timeouts. But it's still a three possession game. So it's not going to be looking very good here. 28 seconds left. And that's going to be pretty much the end of the game. Notre Dame wins. The, the bowl game 30 to 13 Rutgers we lose our first game as a coach or not our, our first bowl game I should say but uh we'll be back we'll try next year you know we're shooting for that national championship anyway so it's just a bump in the road hope you guys enjoyed this season I hope you guys stick around for the two-part off season that's going to be coming out soon and overall I just hope you enjoyed if you did enjoy if you could subscribe that'd be great you can see the episodes as they come out leaving a like on the video always helps and i will catch you guys later goodbye